Good morning. It's Tuesday, March 22nd, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, The Kingdom is Like... In our scriptures, Luke's Gospel, chapter 13, where the good doctor writes, Then Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? How can I illustrate it? It's like a tiny mustard seed that a man planted in a garden. It grows and becomes a tree, and the birds make nests in its branches. He also asked, What else is the kingdom of God like? It's like the yeast a woman used in making bread. Even though she put only a little yeast in three measures of flour, it permeated every part of the dough. Speaking in parables, metaphorical messages, Jesus compared the kingdom of God to the way God created the tendency to grow in the natural world. Mustard seeds are tiny. They quickly grow into a tree big enough for a bird to build its nest. Yeast causes growth to a little pile of dough. But wherever God has created good, evil is certain to twist in the opposite direction. When we moved to North Carolina 22 years ago, our little half acre was mostly untamed with large trees, mostly pines, cedars, and poplar. Some of the trees were already dead. Wild vines had wrapped the living trees when they were smaller and sucked the life right out of them. They looked impressive, tall and stately, but they were rotted, ready to fall. This is Satan's characteristic stock and trade. It's his unchanging nature to deceive and pervert. Satan made his entrance on the stage of world drama by deceiving Eve in the garden. That serpent has never and will never change. Scripture tells us that he will pay the ultimate penalty for his rebellion. Revelation chapter 12. The great dragon, the ancient serpent called the devil or Satan, the one deceiving the whole world, was thrown down to the earth with all his angels. Then I heard a loud voice shouting across the heavens, It has come at last, salvation and power, and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters has been thrown down to earth, the one who accuses them before our God day and night. In other parables, Jesus taught us about life, death, and learning to live a godly life in his kingdom. That living must continually be awake and aware because every good thing God created has an evil counterfeit lure stalking us in the shadows. This is why with all the wonderful teaching Jesus offered of the good things in God's wonderful creation, he balanced the picture with Reality 101, the caution that we must have about the pitfalls of temptation, sin, and the devil's way. Matthew chapter 10, verse 16, Look, I am sending you out as sheep among wolves, so be as shrewd as snakes and harmless as doves. For you today, there's an old saying about how to be wise in dealing with others. Trust, but verify. As believers, we are to trust God and test the spirits. We must heed the lesson Adam and Eve were handed Satan never tells the truth. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.